Good morning, folks. The Real Captain Kirk here, live from Weather Trends 360 Studio. Thought we'd do a real quick update here Thursday morning on the uh, pending snow outlook here for the next uh, six days and uh, even looking at a couple weeks uh, along with the weekend outlook. Uh, we're looking at, again, a system coming out of the southwest and then merging with a system up in Canada. And uh, the plan here is hopefully to get them to merge in the middle and uh, end up with a, a snowstorm, moderate snowstorm event here going across the central part of the country. We can see here by um, tomorrow the snowfall is heaviest in the uh, Colorado Rockies and then heading into starting to develop uh, the main system in the central U.S. Uh, in the Midwest. You can see that reflected here as we animate the maps here by Saturday. Again, you see a broader 4 to 8 inch plus snow event from just very near Kansas City through St. Louis, south of Chicago toward Indianapolis. This system will then uh, try to merge uh, off the east coast. Um, unfortunately, it's not going to come up the east coast for folks uh, in New England that uh, would like to see a major snowstorm this go around, but probably not in the cards for really anywhere north of, um, say, even here Lehigh Valley to New York City and points north. Probably not going to see that much snow. As we jump into um, Sunday, you know, most of the snowfall here you can see is in the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia, um, heading toward the Washington, D.C., Baltimore, southern half of New Jersey. Um, a couple inches possible as far north as here is Lehigh Valley uh, and just south of New York City. But again, it looks like this event's pretty much a, a mid-Atlantic event or extreme southern coastal New England. Uh, and then by uh, Monday, uh, again, uh, snow will be tapering off uh, for sure Monday morning uh, or legacy from the night before. Most of the snow will be on Sunday, Sunday night, uh, and then heading out to sea. And then by Wednesday, uh, again, we see, um, again, just more lake effect. Here today, again, uh, the lake effect snow machine. We'll go through these one more time. Again, the snowstorm for Saturday into Sunday, and then heading off the East Coast for Monday, um, and then quieting down a bit uh, for the middle part of next week, and then we gear up for week two. Uh, looks like uh, next weekend, uh, weekend after next, around the 19th, 20th, we have another big snowstorm potential, uh, and that would, again, uh, potentially a little more of a, a nor'easter type event. We'll have to see on the exact track, obviously, this far out. But, again, clearly a, another storm pattern. And, uh, again, the good news is the pattern's cold, snowy, and it's uh, transitioning from... Uh, now the few-week lull here that we've had, so we're heading back to kind of what we expected here for this winter, and if we look at the um, early season outlook that we put out, uh, again, calling for the snowiest U.S. winter in five years, eighth snowiest in 30 years, again, in that real heavy storm track, uh, again, from the central plains uh, into the mid-Atlantic, southern part of New England was our real heavy snow threats, and that's kind of where this storm is heading, at least, uh, so this is verifying the the big storm going through Saturday, Sunday uh, this week, and that's kind of the trend here for the balance of winter. Uh, looking at the uh, weekend as a whole here, if we just uh, zoom in on the temperature and precip again, uh, this is just again for the 12th through 13th January time frame. But um, a lot of that green, <coughs> excuse me, green moisture uh, throughout the Midwest, uh, East Coast is uh, much of that snow. If you're, uh, say, north of the Kansas, Missouri, Kentucky, Virginia line, uh, everything south of that's probably obviously rain. Uh, but overall, we'd say the U.S. this weekend is the coolest in three years. That makes it the seventh coldest in 30 years. Uh, eighth wettest in 30 years and snowiest in eight years. So again, kind of a cold, stormy weekend here. So with that, folks, uh, have a great weekend, and uh, we'll have a full Captain's Log uh, update uh, Monday morning. We'll talk to you soon.